Yes. What's up everyone? This is Nick from the Mini Vlog and we're here in what we call the Mini Vlog Garage. Um, it's a rainy day outside. So we're going to do a video inside today on the GP3. And we're going to be doing something with the center uh, armrest wireless charging deck. Uh, it doesn't accommodate phones like this. This is a modern smartphone and it's a little bit too tall to fit into there. Uh, it's uh, something that I've always wanted to fix. It's something that applies to other F56 models, not just this GP3. And I'm going to show you how we can uh, take a part that's in our armrest, 3D print a new part, and then uh, have it accommodate these larger size phones that most people have in their pockets nowadays. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So if you've seen my video in the past where I talk about it, I show how this GP3's F56 wireless charging deck um, just doesn't accommodate today's modern smartphones, which are the taller size phones. And so this one just doesn't fit. The same goes with my four previous phones. They were just too tall to fit into this. But I really want to utilize this wireless charging deck inside this center armrest. Well, I know what you're saying too. You're saying, Nick, take the case off your phone and it will fit in there. And speaking of case, if you like this case, you can get your own at gluedpistons.com. You send them a picture of your car and they illustrate it and put it on a case and send it to you. Uh, it's super cool. But even without the case on this phone, it's still too tall to fit within this wireless charging deck um, in the center armrest. Well, I got an idea. First, we're gonna remove this wireless charging deck. We're gonna take off the shelf that's too short and we're gonna try and 3D print our own. So let's go ahead and get to that. So to remind you, here's the phone and when we go to put it in there, it's just a tad too tall to actually fit into this top clip with this shelf. And I think this shelf can go back a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this out with some pry tools and some old credit cards. Okay, what we have here, so we're all on the same page, we're gonna call this the wireless charging deck. This is the wireless charging shelf that slides back and forth and holds your phone. And uh, this is a little clip that uh, attaches to the top of your phone. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thin plastic, and in this case I'm using some old AAA uh, roadside assistance cards. And we're gonna sl slide them down in the sides here to try and release the clips that are holding in the back. There we go, we got that one side. Let's try this other side. And there we go. We'll slide up the back and then slide out the front. There's a little clip there. And now there's gonna be some wires holding this down. So sometimes you might find that the cable is long enough for you to turn the shelf around and unplug the cable from the bottom. Mine, however, is a little bit too tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove the four Torx bolts that are seen down in here. And I'm gonna use a T27 bit, which fits in there to loosen those up, which should allow me to take more of this center console out and unplug the cable that is holding in this wireless charging deck. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, our four Torx bolts are out. Now we get the lining to come out. And that should give us a little more access to unplug this cable. So now we've got the uh, wireless charging deck and the tray loosened up with those four Torx bolts. That's gonna give us uh, the ability to cut off two cable ties that are at the bottom. And they're gonna allow us to move those cables around a little more freely and get a little more access to where we need to get to underneath here. So as you can see, these, these cables were routed through these cable channels here and then zip tied. So they were really tight to this tray. So you didn't have any room to move this charging deck around too much. Now that we have that, those cable ties clipped, we can get much more access to our charging deck so that we can open it up. So let's go ahead and get into opening up this charging deck here. All right, we've got access to the charging deck now. Here's our drawer that we want to uh, update with our 3D part. So what we need to do is kind of, uh, there's a couple of clips here. So we need to kind of get into here to release this charging deck top half from bottom half. So we get to the screws holding in the drawer at the bottom. One, two, three, four. Very gently pry it up. And now I'm gonna stick a plastic pry tool in there to 
hold it open. Uh, what is it? There we go. Ah! There's one of our clips. Let's get a pry tool in there. Hold it open. There we go. There we go. Just about there. All right. All right, so now we have access to the screws, very small screws holding in uh, the sliding shelf here, as you can see here. And that's what we've been after this whole time, to try and get access to this so that we can replace it with a shelf that we have 3D printed. Okay, now that we have these pieces separated, uh, you can pull this plug out. It is a nice plug. The rest, this other wire is soldered onto the board directly, so you can't uh, remove that. But we do have access to these very tiny screws. Uh, they look like little tiny Torx bits. So I'm gonna have to tap into my electronic screwdriver kit to see if we can get a Torx bit that fits that tiny screw. Let's see what we have. So we're gonna remove it's a tiny T5 screw that's holding this shelf on. And then there's one on the other side as well. Let's try and be careful not to drop these down into oblivion. Okay, and there is our shelf. So let's go ahead and go compare that to the 3D printed shelf um, that we have to replace it. Okay, so here's the existing shelf that the phone sits against while it's in the charging uh, deck. Here is a 3D printed piece that uh, I am going to use to replace it. As you can see, it's pretty similar in size. It has some screw holes down at the bottom to accept that screw. Now, thanks to other people that have done this before, this file was available for me to just grab and uh, modify if I wanted and then, and then send it to my printer. Uh, so this is our first one. This is a prototype. It's done on our home low resolution 3D printer, which is not bad. Um, and it's more this is a proof of concept that it works. But once we know that this is good, we send that file off to something like Shapeways or other third party uh, professional printers that have more access to higher quality uh, filaments and higher resolution printers. And we get them to print this. Um, so this is a really nice printed piece. You can barely see any resolution lines in it um, compared to our prototype. And overall, it just it seems like a better build. Build quality feels a little heavier in the hand. And you, so you could get this printed in several different materials from at least the Shapeway sites. There are other services out there that do this as well. And I'll leave links to where you can find this file to so modify it yourself or just send it off to a printer to have it printed in whatever material you want. There's even some printers that will print this in a nice cool metal. Now we know the, the OEM charging shelf has a little rubber grip at the bottom. Uh, this being printed in plastic doesn't have that nice rubber grip. You could probably coat this with like a spray on rubber adhesive if you wanted to, but uh, I think this will be okay uh, because I usually have a case on the phone, so it shouldn't matter too much. So let's go ahead and go install this in the car. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave any questions or comments you have below. And if you like my new GP negative space t-shirt, you can get your own at theminivlog.com slash store. Now back to the video. All right, so we're gonna take our old stock piece, set it aside, take our new 3D printed piece. And we're gonna install that up on, uh, up in these screws with using these uh, screw holes that we have 3D printed into the bottom of this new shelf. Okay, so here we are with the new charging uh, shelf installed into charging deck. And as you can see that these arm extensions uh, buy us a little bit of extra room here. So this is where the stock uh, shelf sits. And if you can see, let me see if I can get this on to show on camera. Um, 
as you can see, that buys you a decent amount of space. And in, in the cell phone world, that's quite a bit. So these little extension arms uh, extend it back quite a bit. And now our shelf goes all the way flush to the back of the uh, charging deck now when it's, when it's uh, pressed back there. So now let's go ahead and uh, reassemble some of this. So we're gonna just go backwards. We're gonna plug our clip back in. And we're gonna snap in all of these clips that we uh, unclipped. Make sure you get them all clipped back in all the way around. And we're gonna put the, try and put these cables back in their cable runs to tighten things up uh, so they fit in here nice and smooth. And I will go grab a zip tie to replace the zip ties that I had cut away. So we'll put the zip tie, a zip tie to replace the existing one and we'll trim it up. With the dullest pair of scissors I own. All right, so now let's put the tray in. Yep best to slide the back in first and now it's uh we got those four torque bolts that we took out of the tray we're gonna put those back all right now for the moment of truth we're again we're gonna slide in the front first and then the four clips that we used our old AAA cards to pry loose, we'll snap it in the back. So slide in the front, push down and it clips in. Moment of truth, here we go. Yes, it fits and it's charging. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it did take a little bit longer than I expected uh, just because we gotta learn as we go through the first time. But once we got it, it works great. I'm really happy with that 3D print that I got and uh, it fits my phone now, so that's super cool. So yeah, leave any questions or comments you have down below. You can also find me on Instagram as The Mini Vlog. And uh, as always, when you see other minis out there, don't forget to wave. I'll catch you in the next one.